Hey all, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use GeForce Experience. Now with some computers, specifically if they're pre-built, it will come installed with GeForce Experience, but if it doesn't, all you have to do is go to the NVIDIA website, to the GeForce Experience, you click download, and then, you know, it, here's GeForce Experience. Now, I don't have many, um, games on my computer at the moment because I just got it yesterday as of you know recording this video it's the uh, 25th of August at 10 in the morning so um, that's not relevant either way um, so it'll show you like your games your apps and then there's you know you can check for drivers right here and it's honestly a really handy you know uh app so i don't know oh here you go so most most of the time when you first launch a game let's just launch minecraft launcher and you can see it it should come up in a second there it is y you see this on a lot of streamers videos or just generally in videos uh so what you do is you press alt and z for your stream overlay and here's how you record using GeForce Experience. So you can use an instant replay, which I think it will make you configure it first. I have it set to 15 seconds, which, you know, is the best option. I have it set to 60 frames a second because that's what I like recording in. I like 60 frames a second. 60 frames a second works. It's very smooth. I like it. But um, instant replay, record. Now I'll give a little demonstration on how instant replay works. So basically... It's always recording, and then, you know, if, if something funny or, like, something, like, impressive happens in a game, all you do is press Alt-Z, and then you click Save. And it's gray right now because I just turned it on, but, like, usually when you're in the game and you have it already turned on, you know, it'll it'll go back and it'll record the last 15 seconds. And it, it's really, it's really useful. Record is fairly straightforward. That's, that's basically what I'm doing right now with OBS Studio, uh, if it would, you know, show. Like, this is OBS Studio. See? Uh, endless mirror. But I'm going to take that over back to my second monitor, where it has been. Uh, Alt-Z. Let's go back. So this is the record feature. You can, you know, get your uh, settings set up right here. I don't, I don't really know how to speak. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to make this as simple as possible. Um, broadcast live, again, fairly straightforward. You can broadcast to YouTube, Twitch, or Facebook for some reason. I don't, I don't know why Facebook specifically. Uh, you can choose your resolution, your frame rate, uh, your bit rate, your Twitch server, uh, even if you're not streaming to Twitch for some reason. Um, but yeah, that's broadcasting live. I've done... I've made videos using this feature on my channel quite a few times, mainly being two times. But uh, gallery is uh, screenshots. So like, I've used the um, I used the instant replay before. Here it is. I guess you can upload it straight from here, from the gallery. There's just me kill binding. Um, I didn't know you could. Uh, upload straight from there and then performance it'll uh, X out of the overlay and I'll show you you yeah words it'll show you your GPU performance so me personally I have a RTX 3050 in my computer and you know it runs really smooth and since it's not really running a game it's you know the FPS looks low I guess that and I'm literally just running the Minecraft launcher. So, I mean, there's not really going to be anything of value there, I guess. But other than that, you can configure microphone settings, which I have a blue snowball, which is what you're hearing right now. You can configure your webcam settings if you have a webcam plugged in. I have a webcam. It's just not plugged in. And then settings, it's, you know, you can connect all of this. 
Oh, that's actually pretty handy. I might turn that on. Comments. Huh. I don't think I've actually looked directly into, um, you know. Uh, what's it say? These settings yet. Even though I've had time to. Oh, shoot. Okay, so you can you can go around and change these. Um, but this works really well. So other than that, I think that's all with GeForce Experience. That's all I have to say about it. Uh, I think it's pretty neat. But um, other than that, keep your BIOS updated. Keep your graphics card updated. Keep everything you need updated. And other than that, I think that's a wrap. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.